Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'd like to talk to you about a great feature of Studio One Five, and that is the conversion of polyphonic audio to MIDI. And there's a number of reasons why you might want to do this, right? You, you might have some audio that you want to kind of learn the chords. Um, you got an orchestra playing, or you got some piano playing, guitar playing, strumming. You want to learn the chords, figure out what notes were used. Um, it's a great way to do that with this feature in Studio One to convert audio to MIDI. So first step would be, first of all, let's take a listen to this audio track. Okay, so as you can hear, there's a lot going on. You got piano, you got uh, some vocal chops, you got uh, a lot of synths, that sort of thing going on. Um, so the question is, is it going to be able to do the job? Is it going to convert all that to uh, MIDI? I've got a piano track down here, and we're going to see if that works. The first step you would take would be to select this track and then hit control M and what you'll see is this window here for Melodyne and that's built in to Studio 1.5 it's Melodyne Essential <clears throat> and as you can see it's, excuse me it's got uh, these different algorithms now right now it's on the universal algorithm and we're going to use this to convert to polyphonic. So what you would choose is either the polyphonic sustain or, or the polyphonic decay. You know, for this, the purposes of this tutorial doesn't really matter. You can kind of choose which one works best for you. But I'm going to go ahead and choose the polyphonic sustain. That's going to redetect. So I'll click redetect. And it's going to do its polyphonic detection. okay and now as you can see we've got all the pitches broken out so I'm going to close this out and then the next step would be to simply click on this in this track and then drag it down to the instrument track so you heard what the audio sounded like let's take a listen to let's mute this track and take a listen to the instrument track and see how it sounds <laughs> Sounds pretty good. It's a little bit off rhythmically. So what I would do, I'm going to double click on this. Uh, I, first thing I would do is, is to quantize, right? So I'm going to select all this. I'm on 116th grid and I'm going to hit Q. Okay, that did quantize a bit. Go back to the start and see how it sounds now. say that sounds pretty awesome great way to learn chords to kind of reverse engineer uh, certain audio parts to see how they were people came up with them uh, great feature in studio one five um, so yeah hope you learned a lot up from this and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments uh, something else you need to learn about. I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorials on Studio One Five, other DAWs as well. Bitwig is one of my uh, favorite DAWs, FL Studio, of course. Um, so, yeah, let me know. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, and I'll catch you in the next video.